If you want to improve your PlayStation 5's performance, the only way to do this is to install an NVMe M.2 SSD. Game load times are much faster using the M.2 slot. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install the NVMe SSD and how to transfer the games from the console hard drive to the new SSD. Hey, hey, what's up, Mike? This is Guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to show you how to install the official PlayStation Western Digital 1TB SSD drive into our PS5. All right, the first thing we have to do is remove the stand. It's right here. And all you need is a flathead screwdriver. So this is probably the most stressful part of this job is getting this face plate off, but it's not that hard. <laughs> Let me show you. First thing you want to do, you want to hold this down, the bottom part down, like that, and pull it right off. Pretty easy. All right. So you can see here, it's our disk drive. We've got our fan. And right here is the SSD drive. It's one simple screw. It's going to be a Phillips head. Simple. Right there, just simply pops off that. There we go. Some of these don't have heat sinks, but this one does. It's the official one. You do pay a little bit more for the, the official. There's cheaper uh, brands. There we go. So you can see right here, it's going to fit right in here. First thing you want to do is remove this screw. This is going to hold and secure our SSD. So make sure you don't lose this screw. There we go. As you can see right here, they put some sticker on here so we're going to move that hopefully we can get this off easily okay so i peeled some of the sticker off to reveal the mounting screw that i need here so i'm going to need uh this one right here i'm guessing they had the sticker on here to prevent someone from installing ssd because when this first came out um you couldn't install an ssd into it anyway snap it in like this put it like that and screw this in like this Like that, we're good. And then put the plate back on. It would be nice if they had the heat sink already on here, so you didn't have to worry about this. But anyways, we got the the official PlayStation it's an SSD, so we're good. Yeah, nice little touch, by the way. I'm not sure if you can see this, but they have the little PlayStation X, square, triangle, and circle. Nice little touch. There we go. And while I'm here, blowing dust out of here, it's pretty clean already. All right, now we can put the top back on. Now it's gonna slide up, it looks like, like, like so. Like that, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna set the SSD up and the PS5 is going to detect it automatically. We'll go ahead and format the M.2 SSD. Read speed, it's a very fast read speed, really fast. So we'll be transferring some games from the internal original hard drive to this SSD. All right. Okay, we did a system software update. All right, so first thing we wanna do is we're gonna go up to settings and storage. Now that's our console storage. Now here's our M.2 storage. So what we need to do we need to transfer games into that storage space. So, now Gran Turismo 7 is a pretty big game. I'm gonna transfer that over to the M.2 slot. And we're gonna go ahead and move it. Now it's 124 gigs. It's probably gonna take a little while to do this. So, we'll let this do this. I'll come back in about Looks like about 19 minutes, and then we're gonna play Gran Turismo 7 and see how it plays. We'll go ahead and transfer that as well. Now this should free up about maybe half the space on my console storage, maybe just about half. Okay, let's play a little Gran Turismo. So the game load time for Gran Turismo 7 was insanely fast. Normally it's around 20 to 25 seconds, but now using the M.2 slot, it's about 10 seconds max, and that's a huge improvement over the console storage. So guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. 
If you love it, hit subscribe and the bell notifications. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.